guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to figure out how I made that mural. Okay guys, so as promised, I told you guys that when I was making this mural that I will record all the steps of how I did it and I will post it up on YouTube for you guys to see. So I did do the recording. I just didn't get a chance to actually make the tutorial all together to show you guys how I did it until now. So that's why I'm here. Um, but yeah, it was super simple and easy. I'm just letting you guys know that I am not a professional painter. Just letting you guys know. But yeah, I think last year, last Ramadan, um, I posted up a video about how I made a mural on Raheem's um, cousin's wall as well because he really wanted one and you guys loved it. So this year when I was painting this one for our nursery for our little baby, you guys wanted to see how I did this one as well. Raheem, as you can tell, is car obsessed. So he specifically wanted these three cars. But yeah, I will be showing you guys how I did this step by step and it is super simple very very easy so i hope you guys give it a try if i literally had acrylic paints that i ended up mixing with some of the wall paint that we had because we had wall paint that was different colors so yeah that's how i mix these colors and stuff but yeah stay tuned and watch the rest of this video to find out how i made this mural and if you guys like the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe oh and my abaya is from simon's corner so make sure you go and check out my sister's website and get your own abaya i'll leave her link down below as well got it Let's okay guys, this. so for step number one, I had to find the exact pictures of what I wanted my focal point to be. So Raheem wanted his focal point to be these three cars, which is the NSX, the Evo 9, and the GTR because he's obsessed with those three cars and you guys know he's obsessed with cars. So I had to find three different cars and what I did to make my life easier is that I actually found them off of Google and I photoshopped them to fit exactly how I wanted them to on the wall. You don't have to do this step, you can just sketch it onto the wall, but my husband is very particular with how his cars turn out, so I had to do this step like I had no choice. I ended up moving all of these items away from the wall just to make my life easier so I can paint on a clean wall. And then I taped around the edges all around so that I don't get paint anywhere else and just to keep it all clean. where you don't have to do this i usually never ever end up actually doing this but the reason why i did it is because as you guys know my husband is very particular with his car parts and how his the details of his car look so what i did was that i projected that picture that i that i had made on photoshop onto the wall and then i lightly traced around where exactly these cars are going to be placed on the wall is using a sharpie or black paint make sure you outline the object that you want to be the focal point of your mural i know some people don't really like having anything on their mural they just want a, a mural so if you're going to do that you literally can skip all the way up to the next steps but um yeah what i did was that i outlined it and then i took my phone and i downloaded the picture onto my phone and then i looked at it and kind of just filled in the details as i went along just because um, i couldn't use a projector to actually fill in the details because it's really hard to do so so i used my phone to do it pencil I lightly sketched out exactly where I want what placement to be so I sketched out where I want the clouds to be kind of placed and where I want the trees to be and then where I want the land and the water and you know like any any other items that you want on there just lightly sketch it out you don't have to actually draw out each thing because you probably won't be following that but I just wanted to know exactly where what was going to be placed so I sketched it out Then I 
started on my sky the reason why i started my sky first is because that was going to be the base background for it but because my wall is already blue i didn't really have to do the entire thing so i used blue and white paint and i mixed it together and just fluffed out clouds they don't have to be perfect because clouds don't actually look like cotton balls most of the time blue and white I then streaked out um, a little area of water where I wanted like a little bit of a lake or whatever to show I don't even know there's no such thing as this place but <laughs> I just wanted a little body of water in front of the mountains and that's why I just painted that out gray paint i went in and painted out peaks for mountains your mountains do not have to be perfect because mountains don't look perfect like i don't even like the fact that my mountains look like that right now because i wanted them to be a lot more edgier and you know just look more like mountains these are like a little too like peaky like but um yeah you do what you want to do I used that gray and the white and blue and I kind of shadowed in right in front of the mountain right there just to make it all blend in together with the water. Bring the mountains to life. This is the important part, guys. I took white paint and a brush that allowed me to stipple snow onto the tops of the mountains and I blended it downwards. Make sure you do one side only because that's the side that the light will be hitting on. that with that white i added a little bit of blue and gray to it to give it kind of that kind of that shadowy effect on the opposite side of the mountain because that's where the light wasn't hitting and then i stippled down that side of the mountain as well and that's how they came to life I started off with doing the road or the mountain area that the cars are on I actually wanted this area to be a little bit better but um, the reason why it's not is because I ran out of time but yeah I will go in one day and fix it but anyways so I kind of just took the gray paint in a lighter shade and painted in that part of the mountain and then I took a little bit of a darker shade and just kind of shaded it all in to make it come more to life instead of being very cartoony in just one color For the trees and i am telling you guys these trees drove me crazy because i ran out of paint and i couldn't add in shadows properly but it's okay because i finished it but yeah i will be going in and probably fixing the trees and stuff later but for now um i left it as that so what i first did was that i took remember that stipple brush that i used for the snow on the mountains i used that brush and i kind of just um, added in different types of trees that you kind of see so I, I, I used a stipple brush and I went down and then across just to add in like kind of like evergreen trees and um, Christmas trees and different types of trees and then I blotched in areas and added little 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 trees like far farther away and then I made sure that the entire background was that shade of green just so I didn't have any blue sticking out
the trees because that's what's gonna bring them to life and then I went in and just to be a little bit extra I drew a little bit of V's I don't know if you guys can see it properly but those V's are basically birds just saying going in with my chosen shades of colors for the car i ended up using red blue and white to paint out my cars touches I went in with white gray and black and filled in those details you can go back in with white paint and a really thin brush to kind of just bring out those car details you don't have to if you don't want to but you could fun part wait till the entire painting is dry and then you can peel off the sides and admire your masterpiece. today's video guys hope you guys liked the video and if you guys did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i am not a professional painter i just like painting keep that in mind guys but yeah if i can do this so can you so make sure you guys give it a try and let me know in the comment section below how you guys liked it or you can always dm me your pictures of your murals because i love to check them out but yeah until the next video people take care keep smiling and peace out